Pacifica Municipal Pier is a concrete structure built in 1973 for the initial task of protecting a submerged sewer outflow pipe that ran from the old water treatment plant, a building that now serves as the meeting place for Pacifica City Council. It is a quarter mile long, reaching 1,140 feet out into the open Pacific Ocean. As a legendary fishing pier, it takes a yearly beating from relentless open ocean surf and at times truly massive and punishing waves. Because of which, it has been repaired and even outright closed numerous times over the decades. Yet, the pier still stands tall nearly 50 years later. In 2020, I started a COVID era hobby of trying to film what lives underneath it. My various attempts have led to the creation of this channel and a device I built which I affectionately call the DV-1 or the Dave, named after my next door neighbor who gave me the first parts used to build it. It's what you would call a BRUV which stands for Baited Remote Underwater Video. It's a heavily weighted camera mount equipped with lots of high power LED lights and two perforated rods that hold bait. The bait draws in wildlife, the lights cut through the murk, and the camera does the rest. If you're new to my channel and curious how the DV1 came to be, check out episodes 13 through 15. My name is Aaron John Gregory. Come along with me out to the Pacific Pier. Let me show you what lives down there. Back after an amazing night last night where the water was super calm and it was clear and I got 
probably the best footage I've ever gotten at Pacifica Pier. So, and I'm watching the live cam this morning. That's right over here off the beach. And I can see that the water was even more flat, flatter. Which that means is the water's gonna be even clearer because it just hasn't been stirred up for that much longer. All the jellyfish are still out. There's sea nettles everywhere. It's beautiful out today right now. It's so bright and amazing. Just, it doesn't get better than this. At Pacifica Pier, this is what it's all about. Uh, everyone's in a good mood, sparking up conversations with people left and right. This has got to be it. This has got to be the one that's going to finish out this video series on the BRUV. Building the, the DV1, testing it, proof of concept, proved. Thanks for watching. Kind of addicted. I just want to keep coming out, seeing what I can get on the camera. So I know one of these days I'm gonna get something amazing. Maybe today's the day. A nice and overcast, like windy. I'm excited. The water's blue. It's been really calm all day. I've been watching the live cam. It's high tide. You can tell by you can only see a little bit of the barnacles and growth and whatnot on the pilings. Pretty excited. Set up. And I forgot both my GoPros at home, like a moron. Hi guys, look at that, GoPros and a Godzilla hat. Yep, Jackie was stoked to do that. A little something for Crabzilla here, for all those beers he gives me. Thanks for all the beers, dude. Holy ah. Right on, Hooking bro. up Crabzilla. Oh yeah, love it, man. And what do you, what do you normally see? Um, Lately, I've been getting really good footage of uh, all the different species of crab that are here.
in the water, it's on the bottom. I'm having a pretty good time talking with people. A lot of people I trust in the grave, which is always so much fun. It makes doing this like really fun. I think the conditions are pretty good. There is a lot of kinetic energy moving waves pretty hard against the shore. If the waves are hitting the shore this hard, it means there is a lot of energy moving on the bottom. So who knows what's going on downstairs.
two kingfish nice. on one rig. Nice. Nicely done. White Croker City. In it? Yeah. yeah. All right. That's okay. Look at that. Jack's melt. Yep. It's a nice big one. Yep. Look at the yellow spots. 